All right, I'm gonna show you how to filter a list of primitive values here. I am filtering a list of strings. This could be integers, doubles, longs, Boolean values, anything of that nature. But I've created a list using the list of, so this is an immutable list, a uh, list of names. So we have Don, Bob, Jane, Jenny, Tushar, and Kavita. Let's assume that we wanted to filter this list and we only wanted to include we want to include everybody but Dawn this time. And so we would say names.filter, and then we can pass in basically a lambda expression. So there's a couple things we could do. We could do open close parentheses, and we need some type of predicate. If we look at the implementation of this inside of the Kotlin collection standard library, we'll see that we have the filter method, and we need a predicate. And this predicate is requiring a lambda a expression that's going to return a Boolean value basically returns a list containing only the elements matching the predicate. So if it's true, it will be included in the list. If it's false, it will not. So what does that mean? Anything inside this filter we pass in, which I'm gonna use the Lambda expression version, if this equates to true, what happens inside of here, it will be included. So this is pretty easy. Using the default iterator, iterator value of it, I'll say it does not equal Dawn, will be included. So what this means is I want to look through all the names and filter it and check to see if it doesn't equal Don. If it doesn't equal Don, then include it. So how can we tell if that worked? Let's print this to the screen and we'll say filtered. And once we run it, you're going to see that down here in the output window, we'll see Bob, Jane, Jenny, Tushar, and Kavita. So Don was not included. Now we could also flip that around and say, you know, we also only want to include the names if it includes Dawn. So let's do that. Say filtered does it equal Dawn. So here we're going to get back an array with one value in it, which is going to equal Dawn, which makes sense. Okay, makes sense. it's good enough. But sometimes maybe inside of your application, um, again, this is a predicate, a whole number of things can happen. This can be a bunch of code that's doing something inside of here. But let's assume that you want to check to see if anyone has a letter A in it. I only want to see if someone has a letter A. So what we might do is say it dot to lowercase. It's because I want to check for lower uppercase dot contains a character. And let's see if it contains the letter A. If it contains the letter A, I want it to go ahead and return it. So let's see what happens here. If we run this, we'll see we get return Jane, Tushar, and Kavita. That's right, because Don, Bob, and Jenny do not have the letter A inside of there. Um, so you can start filtering based upon all different types of things. And the same thing will work if you had a list of, of you know, ages such as this. And then you wanted to actually filter them. So you'd say val over 18, or you say adults, which can be over 18. And you'd say ages dot filter it dot greater than or equal to 18. We'll print line that and we could see the adults. If we run this, we'll see that we have 23, 33, 19 and 99, which is true because if you're 12 or you're nine you or 17, you are not an adult. One additional thing you could do is actually create a function called is adult. And perhaps this function has a whole bunch of things inside of here. So we want to say age, which is called value, let's be int. And then inside of here, say if the value, so we'll say return value greater than or equal to 18, Again, this is going to be Boolean, so we need to return a value. So this function will return if this person is an adult. But now let's assume for whatever reason you have to put a bunch of if statements in here. Maybe in one country an adult is 14, in the next country it's 21, and in the next country it's 18. So you might need to have many different lines and logic inside of here but it's gonna return a Boolean value. Doing that inside of this filter is gonna get real messy. And so what you can do is you actually pass a function reference into the filter. And you can do this with a lot of the methods inside of Kotlin. So here it's an age filtering, so it's a colon colon is adult. And what this will do is it'll take this as a function reference and say, as soon as I say ages.filter, it'll basically pass in the values one by one into the is adult function, and then we'll run it through everything that's inside of here. 
And then whatever the result is, if it's true, it'll be included in the filter. Otherwise, it'll be excluded. So if we run this again, we should get the same result as before. So we see 23, 19, 99. Now we could change this. And so we could change, you know, if we want to say is adult, we say is child. And we probably need to fix the spelling of that. And then we can say less than or equal 18. And if we rerun this again, and of course this variable name is wrong, it's not adults, it should be children. Okay, and run it again. We'll now see 12, 9, and 17 for the ages of filter. So that's how you can easily filter a list, an array, and so forth in Kotlin.